heading 185, reduce speed 182 and off. 185 on the heading 180 on speed off there, 007. Speed at 124, reduce speed 160 and off to 40 and me. 160 to 40, speed 2 of the Iceland air flight from Keflavik to Glasgow. We are just in the cruise still, flight number 370, been in the air for uh, how long? An hour and 13 minutes and we have about uh, 80 or so miles before we need to think about starting our descent. So, uh, I told you when we were uh, planning the uh, outbound or, or the flight plan in, in part one that Glasgow uh, was having some weather issues and that has not changed. Uh, the moment the uh, surface wind is uh, 21043 gust 63. I looked on flight radar uh, because I assumed that there was no way they would land in that. It turns out they will, and they are, so cool, that means we can, and even if they were diverting, I'd still be flying. So, let's have a look at the charts, and uh, we need to find the star that starts from uh, the waypoint finer, so let's have a look at this star. Interesting. Apparently the arrival is correct. Golf Oscar Whiskey or Glasgow One Alpha arrival. I guess you can use the Golf Lima Whiskey. But that's only to be used when the Golf Oscar Whiskey VOR is unserviceable. So yeah. Golf Oscar Whiskey arrival for runway 23. And it will be the uh, ILS runway 23, which is here. Uh, we'll do a bit of self-vectoring, although I do remember there being some high terrain to the kind of north of Glasgow. You can see it denoted here. Uh, so maybe we'll fly over the top. We'll see what happens when we get a bit further down. Minima 221, and that is really all we need to know. Okay. So, FMS. Uh, ILS approach runway 23 from the Golf Oscar Whiskey, and it's the Golf Oscar Whiskey 1 Alpha, the Glasgow 1 Alpha. That's, fi that's fine, excuse me. Uh, we'll just close the gaps. Interesting how it's trying to accelerate. Uh, minima, we will keep just about there. And the init ref, uh, 128. I'm gonna add a bunch of uh, speed to that. 
because I don't believe that uh, we should be doing anything. There's a formula for how much speed you should add just in case all of a sudden the wind dies and you're stuck. Because um, think about it, if you're flying in a 40 knot headwind and then you're flying in a speed of 128 knots and then that 48 knot headwind dies, you're dying too. Um, but I digress. Anyway, ILS frequency is 110.1, which we will put here. And the course is 231. So we'll scroll that in. Two, three, one. Water break. I mean, we only need water break one. We don't need to slow it down that much um, or that quickly, even. I reckon that's everything set up. We are going to be in for one hell of an arrival. Like that. That meta is actually scary. Two, uh, two zero. Sorry, 210 gust 63 overcast 4200 QNH is 986 the TAF says that uh, it's going to get worse throughout the day and then by the time 8 o'clock tonight comes it will have died down to 8 knots this will be fun TD in 75 miles. Excellent. Okay, so we are just passing flight level 157, seatbelt signs are on, and we are about to uh, supposedly hit the weather. It's going to be interesting. Nice bank of it in front of us. It's trying its best. I just noticed something as well on the wing. There's a strobe. The strobe is on the outside of the winglet, so why is this bit of the wing being lit up? Very weird. I mean, I guess just one problem of six million, but still. So, plan of action is to follow this as close as I dare. And then I might just cut it left. What's the terrain look like? Oh, you can't because of the range. Bring the range back in, see if I can see the terrain. Nah, not yet. Cool. 
Do a bit of slowing down to do as well soon. But I reckon from Clyde we can probably just make a a left turn. In fact, I reckon that's what we should do. If I do this like that instead, there we go, perfect. And it will make the left turn. This is some spooky weather. Two thousand nine hundred or above. We'll descend to four thousand first because the um, the terrain is not the greatest. Reset the barometer to nine eight eight. Very low pressure. Yeah, this is the terrain I was talking about. It kind of runs all the way down that bit of the uh, north side of Glasgow. FMC message, drag required. I do not believe that we do require drag, but we'll see what happens. So, oh come on, I cleared it once. Let's see if the wings are flexing at all yet. I mean, they're trying. They're like shaking up and down. It's pretty weird. Making a left hand turn momentarily. The scenery is really nice though. Although it is just FTX Global and the Open LC Europe because I don't run the regions anymore, because they kill my FPS. And I quite like having fluid performance. I just double tapped Q. Engine sounds so much different now. The audio engine is so broken. And the Captain Sim. I guess it's actually because they're using like default P3D sound engine, which is just bad. Come on, left turn. Three miles away from it. There it is. I love that view, it just as there's a little break in the cloud and you see the ground, it's fantastic. Now the visibility is all the nines, so once we get below the cloud, it'll be okay. And it's asking for some speed break, but I mean, or some drag anyway. But I honestly don't think we need it. Seventy knot, a seventy one knot tailwind. That's impressive. Which as soon as we turn right, that's going to be a 71 knot headwind and watch the ground speed disappear. Like right now, our ground speed is 340. We'll turn right, it'll drop to, I don't know, it'll be very low though. All 
right and turn on some landing lights just the uh, turn offs and the actual landing lights and those light can stay off until the gear comes down uh, spine like that for now 10 miles until the right hand turn 6300 ish feet pretty good Looking rather fine. Let's see if I can see the airport on the right. But clouds. Oh, here we go. Let's have a look. Uh, not a chance. Not a chance. All right. So I'm going to slow it down a bit. So flight level change, we'll do 250 knots. And we will drop it down to 3,000 feet. And now we will give it what it wants in the form of a bit of speed brake. That'll do about there. Zoom right in, and we can take flap one. You'll see the slats come out. And then we slow it further to about 190. And under 220 knots, which is there, we can take flap five, and you'll see flap five come out. There we go, beautiful. I'll do 180, I think. Yeah, 180 is good. We're going to be establishing at about, mm, I don't know, probably about 10, 11 miles, something like that. So altitude is pretty much spot on. There's the right turn. You can actually bring the speed brakes in now because I don't need them anymore. Gonna spin her. Oh, that's gonna spin around to the right. Actually, this terrain is kind of spooking me. I'll stop at 3,500 until I clear these hills. And go all the way right. We'll grab the localizer soon. What was the inbound course? 231. I mean, we're okay there. That's fine. Got plenty of space. All oh, he's crying for. Seeing if there's a, I've missed something. Yeah, tw where we are now is 2,000 feet. So we're 3,500 is absolutely fine. I don't know why it's crying. In fact, we can actually go down a little bit now. Keep up with the glide. And we'll take flat 15 with that. There's the localizer. And if we just keep it in Actually, we might get away with glide there. Yes, perfect. Okay, there you go. Ten and a half miles to go. Passing 3,000 feet. The missed approach altitude is 3,000 as well. So, you can leave that in the MCP. Let's see Glasgow just coming in to render distance there. Flat 15's out. Looking solid. Yeah, this is the bit that was at 2,000 feet. But it's fine. 
2,500. Our ground speed now is 132 knots. Wow. And I can see a plane that is supposedly coming towards me. That's interesting. It's also not good. It's 1,300 feet above me. So I, they're in the clouds. There's no way I'm going to be able to see them. So we'll just keep it in this configuration for the moment. We'll pop up the approach page 138. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, I'm going to increase it even more. I'm going to go 143. Uh, 143. Because this is some insane headwind. I mean, look at it there, 38 knots. And it's literally a headwind, like it's only probably about five degrees off from the nose. Range to go is seven miles. So we'll throw the gear down. And there it comes. We will arm the speed brake. And we will start to bring the speed back to 143. And with that, we'll go flaps 30. Now, I'm gonna take out the auto throttle. There it is. I'm also gonna take out the autopilot. The nose, gear can, uh, nose light can come on. And here we go. You can see it swaying all over the place. The ground speed at the moment is 106 knots. For those of you that don't know where to look for the ground speed, it's just here. 106 knots, that's like Cessna approach speed if you're flying it like it's a Formula One car, more like a Cirrus approach speed. But seriously, that is insanely slow. See, and all of a sudden, if the wind were to die off now, you can see where the danger would be. Damn, this is not easy. Captain Sim flight model is weird. It's like very, very sluggish. So it's a, it requires a lot of input just to make it do basic things. There is a plane holding short of the runway. It needs to stay there. But knowing AI traffic, it will come onto the runway. And considering AI smooth didn't work before, can actually see it taxiing onto the runway. Oh, why does it always do this to me? AI. It's not even going to get off before I go. And it's a dash eight, of course it is. Oh well, as always, we just pretend it's not there. Like, look at the timing. There's literally no other planes taxiing out. The moment I land, someone comes out to, to take off. Look at this wind. Crosswind correction, and there we go. Look at the ground speed. Damn, that is insane. But we can actually vacate now because of the the headwind. 
It just doesn't care. <laughs> it just does not care. Damn. Oh, look at all the easy jets parked up. What happened to that Dash 8? Did it take off already? Did, didn't it? I hope you crash, honestly. Where has it gone? Oh, there it is. Having fun. Alright. Strobe light off. Uh, all those lights off light on and the APU can come on to start I actually don't know where Iceland Air Park why is the that's fine uh, I don't know where Iceland Air Park yet so I'm just gonna go to somewhere my and my gates not working here they're not are they it says in the installer for Glasgow in uh, Glasgow Airport to, uh, it can use sewed. So you check to use sewed, and then all the gates disappear. That's fun. This is a really old scenery though, it's like 2012. I love how Ryanair's just parked there on its own. Stand 3-3, three, three. you are the chosen one. Lights off. Round we go. Yeah. It's always satisfying when you make a good turn onto the stand. I don't know what is going on off the wheels. What the hell is that? Weird. Right, is the APU on? Yes, it is. So we can shut it down. Turn that to standby. Uh, that can stay as it is, actually. And uh, we can turn off the beacon light, all those are turned off. Seatbelt signs can come off. Hydraulics can go off. Fuel pumps can go off. Uh, the rest of it's fine. We can open up the manager and put the chocks on. And then we can request deboarding by Menzies. No idea who services... Uh, um, <laughs> who services Iceland there but what the hell is going on here yeah that's uh, that's interesting I don't know why Sode's doing that there has to be a fix for it I mean look at GSX it's just driving through itself it has no idea what it's doing crazy anyway that was an interesting end to a relatively short flight. I hope you enjoyed it. Some interesting weather at Glasgow at the moment. Uh, Captain's in flight model kind of dubs it down a little bit, but you can see what the effect of having a 40, 50 knot headwind does on an aircraft as far as ground speed goes. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate the support. Don't forget, Cosford is the 5th of October. If you are attending, I have a speech thing from... Uh, 12.45 onwards in the, like, bunker type thing. You can't miss it. Just ask someone, they'll tell you. Um, and, of course, we have the stand there with all the, the Project Fly stuff, the A380 stuff, the POSCON stuff, and um, obviously myself and the rest of the team will be there. So if you're going, great. Um, that's it, yeah. I'm good. Okay, until next time, take care all, and ta -ra. But now, bye-bye.